This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good morning, my Real News Media TV family. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning, and I'm wishing for everyone a wonderful and a productive day. And in the news this morning, for me to 2023, one dead, another wounded, following violent incidents on St. Anne Plaza. One person is dead and another wounded following a series of disputes at the Eight Rivers Plaza in Uchiria, St. Anne. The deceased has not yet been identified. According to the police, at about 2 p.m., two workers had a dispute at a well-known restaurant on the plaza. It is reported that an altercation developed and one of the workers was stabbed multiple times by the other. The injured worker was rushed to the hospital and admitted in serious but stable condition. A police source told the news that shortly after, a man who is said to be the brother of the injured worker came and attacked the other worker. Lawmen say a police officer that was on the scene intervened in the second dispute and shot the alleged brother of the injured worker. The man who was shot by the police was taken to the hospital where he was later pronounced dead. Investigations continue. Four shot one fatally in Port Morgan attack. Four people were shot one fatally during an attack in Portmore St. Catherine on Monday afternoon. The deceased has not yet been identified. The injured persons, all males, have been admitted to hospital. No motive has been established for the attack. Reports reaching the news are that around 2.10 p.m., the four men were at a car wash on Oleander Drive in Britain Meadows, Portmore, when they were pounced upon by three men. Police said the three men pulled the handguns and opened fire at the four, hitting one to the right side of the chest, another to the left side of his head, and another in his back. The unidentified male was shot all over his body. All four men were taken to hospital where one was pronounced the dead. The other three were admitted. Clarendon party patron shot dead after allegedly confronting man he accused of being gay. The shooting of a man after he allegedly attacked a businessman he accused of being a homosexual has been upgraded to a homicide investigation following his death over the weekend. The incident reportedly happened at the Shekels district in Fort Pats, Clarendon last week. Dead is 30-year-old Leon Hall from Sandy Bay in the parish. It was reported that around 12.45 a.m. last Wednesday, Hall was at a party with a male friend who reportedly went and hugged a businessman who was also a patron at the venue. The police said the businessman, who is also a licensed firearm holder, kissed Hall's friend. Hall immediately began arguing with the businessman, referring to and accusing him of being a homosexual. It was further reported that Hall pulled a knife, went within striking distance of the businessman, and advanced toward him in a threatening manner. The businessman, the police said, then pulled his licensed firearm and discharged a one round. The bullet hit Hall in the head and he fell to the ground. Police said a crowd converged upon the businessman who fled and sought refuge at a relative's home. Hall was assisted to the Maypen Hospital where he was admitted in serious condition. He was later transferred to the Kingston Public Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries while being treated. Police have since seized the licensed firearm and upgraded the investigation from a shooting to a homicide. Farmer on murder rap after daring daylight a gun attack on nurse. Police have charged a man for last Wednesday's daring daylight a killing of a nurse along the Sandy Bay Main Road in Clarendon. He is 40-year-old Christopher Lasco Smith, a farmer from Rasta Corner in Freetown in the parish. He was charged with murder, possession of a prohibited weapon, and using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony. Smith was charged with the death of Avagay Ellis, 25 a practical nurse from Roswell Road in Sandy Bay. The deceased reportedly named her attackers in a dying declaration to the police at the Maypen Hospital. It was reported that around 1.45 p.m., Ellis was on her way home when a black Honda Stream motor car drove up from behind her and a male known to her exited with a firearm in his hand. Police said the man opened a gunfire, hitting Ellis in the buttocks, hands and face. The shooter reportedly returned to the car, which drove away. The injured nurse was assisted to the hospital by a member of the community. She was admitted in a serious but stable condition. 
Ellis, however, succumbed to her injuries at 9 p.m. that same day while undergoing treatment. Police reportedly found 89 mm spent casings while processing the scene. Smith surrendered at the Maypen police station on the day of the incident, accompanied by his attorney. A black Honda Street motor car belonging to the accused was also seized. On Friday, a question and answer session was conducted with the accused in the presence of his attorney and he was subsequently charged. Police said another man is also being sought in connection with the killing. Police are reporting that a curfew will be imposed in the troubled community of Greenville in Manchester starting Monday. A police source told the news that a curfew will start at 6 p.m. on Monday and will end at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. Based on the recent spate of violent crimes in the Greenville community and its environs, the division's intelligence investigative arms have conducted inquiries, investigation, and surveillance exercises. Information so far revealed that a recent spate of violent crimes in the community is because of interpersonal disputes between rival gangsters, the source said. The boundaries are as follows. Northern boundary from a section of Gabby Street at Northern, 1,182 meters along Gabby Street Road to a section of roadway at the Winston Jones Highway vicinity of Magtown Bus Stop. Eastern boundary from a section of roadway at the Winston Jones Highway vicinity of Magtown Bus Stop at the eastern boundary, 1,867 meters along the Winston Jones Highway to the entrance of Tropics View Hotel at the southern boundary. Southern boundary from a section of the entrance of Tropics View Hotel at the southern 1,588 meters along an imaginary line to the intersection of Texas Street and the Duncinane. Western boundary from Duncinane and the Texas Street intersection at the southern boundary 1,793 meters along an imaginary line westerly to a section of Gabby Street at the northern boundary. Persons are reminded that during the hours of the curfew, all persons within the boundaries of the curfew are required to remain within their premises unless otherwise authorized in writing by the ground commander. The curfew follows Sunday morning's deadly gun attack in Top Greenville that left one man dead and three other people injured. Jamaica's murder tally at 409. More than 400 people have been murdered in Jamaica in four months. The latest crime statistics published by the Jamaica Constabulary Force show that there were 106 homicides in April alone, bringing the national murder tally to 409 as at Sunday, April 30. This represents a 16.4% decline in murders year on year. The top five murderous police divisions are St. James with 54, Clarendon 39, Westmoreland 36, Kingston Western 33, and St. Andrew South with 31. Portland with 100 homicide is at the bottom of the table. All other major crimes such as shootings, injured persons, rape, robbery and break-ins have declined year on year. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.